Welcome to Cooler's Live everyone. In this video we're going to discuss the Barcelona B players that have been impressive in the preseason so far. Who will be promoted, who will stay in Barcelona B and who might be sold, right? So before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe right now. Hit that like button, comment and let me know who have been your favorite Barcelona B player that's shown some really great skills and definitely deserve to be in the first team. One player, the one that stands out the most for you. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with the Barcelona B striker, Manaj. He is not that type of striker to score a bunch of goals, but man, he has been on fire. Four goals in less than 90 minutes. He has ex exceeded my expectations and I'm not the only one that is impressed with him. Koeman is also impressed with him, but really and truly, he's not a guaranteed to be promoted. It depends on how many forwards we have by the end of the transfer window. Will determine will he be promoted or will he be sold you know what I'm saying if we can sell Braithwaite I know he can possibly come into the first team we know he's gonna be a bench player because as you know we got Aguero the pie we're not going we are not sure it's going on with Griezmann but more like he will leave based on how things are right now <laughs> you know what I'm saying but so far Minaj have been really fantastic throughout this whole preseason I'm saying he exceeded my expectations and everything you know what I'm saying he He's drawing attention right now from a Sierra A. Sierra A. Yeah, he's already drawing attention from a Sierra A team. So Solo, currently so Solo is in talks with it, um, Barcelona to see what's going on. They want his services at a permanent deal, but so far nothing concrete, nothing about the price, the years, the deals, nothing like that. Right? So really and truly, just depends on how many forwards you have left. But so far, he has been really, really good. I don't know about you. Let me know what you think about that. The next player on the list is Alex Collado. I always wanted this player to make his debut to the first team for ages, man. Like, ever since the time when Araujo, Fati um, get promoted, I was like, where's Alex Collado? Where's Alex Collado? This player is very fantastic. You know what I'm saying? Especially his last season, he's been really fantastic. He has been crying. The whole team had his back, and it's really impressive. I saw him in doing this preseason, it's been really good. What I'm saying I think he's more like he's more better in the central areas than out on the wings to me but so far he's uh, he has one month more to impress Ronald Koeman if he wants to be here or not you know what I'm saying but he definitely will not return to Barcelona B I don't wrong him I don't blame him at all right so hopefully he does get promoted because we really do need him on those wings because as you know Dembele is injured and he won't be back to like around January so we definitely need some depth in the squad but Alex Calado will not <laughs> continue at Barcelona B but he has been very fantastic in the last match versus Girona he showed us glimpses of little skills you know what I'm saying beating around like three opponents uh, on the left side and it's really fantastic but so far Alex Calado is not 100% guaranteed sure that he will be promoted to the first team but he won't stay in Barcelona B no matter what. So that's the update on Alex Collada. He's one of my favorite players. I, fo I follow him on Instagram. And the next player is one of my favorite players. Demir, yes. Demir, the left-footed left -footed attacker. He's been really fantastic. You know what I'm saying? Who has this person that like, this guy is Patrick 2.0. I'm going to discover this guy. I'm going to bring this guy to the first team. Yeah, Demir... <laughs> He's like 90% definitely going to get promoted to the first team. You know what I'm saying? He has been really fantastic. He, ha he has the attacking mind. He has, he has that individual mind. You know what I'm saying? He wants to score. And he wants to take the ball. He wants to take on the players. And he has been really fantastic. You know what I'm saying? He has been, whoa. <laughs> yes, yeah, so he's one of the players who will more likely be promoted towards the first team. And man, this guy, he, he came out of nowhere and just impressing everyone. And... Kumin definitely likes him. We have impressed Kumin several times during the training session. So we all know we can expect Pedro 2.0, but his name is going to be the mirror as he's going to create his own legacy because he's more attacking minded than Pedri. He's he wants to shoot. It doesn't matter with the distance, man. Outside the box or not, he got a good shot. So Demir, shout out to you, man. You'll be really fantastic in the preseason. You're definitely one of the standouts for me. Alright, so the next player we're going to discuss is Balde, the left back for Barcelona B. He is, 
he has been really good. You know what I'm saying? A lot of fans are really hyped about him. You know what I'm saying? I'm hyped too. Defensively, he's definitely better than Jordi Alba. He's confident. He's not afraid to go into the tackles, winning those balls, not drawing any fouls at all. You know what I'm saying? He will put his body on the line to defend his goal. And going forward, he has been bombing forward all the time. But only thing I have a concern about him, I think he is trying to make less mistakes. He's not, he's not that willing to go ahead and like try to create something all the time you know what I'm saying he's not like he's not trying to string the crosses I see a lot of times you could have been stringing crosses inside the box um, early crosses he's not really doing it I think he's nervous but within time he'll definitely get it but otherwise he's still being good I think he drifts too much inside the box rather than keeping the width and stretching the fence but he seems like the player to more like to go inward to try to create something rather than stay wide and cross it inside the box but if you can give him some mixture with that I know I'm telling you he's definitely good he's definitely gonna be promoted without a doubt he's like that left back we have been waiting for but I think I still do think that Alba is definitely superior to him when it comes down to the offensive side but in a more balance Alba is the man and so he'll be promoted and I think having Jordi Alba as his senior to trim the ropes and how to get this thing done how, and how he can observe and watch Jordi Alba up front Man, Jordi Alba going to be one of the best left backs in the world for us, no doubt. I look forward to seeing Balde in the first team. I meant to say Balde. <laughs> and, wow, man. I'm telling you, the next one, that, the next player that that's giving me that wow right now is my one of my favorite players. He's one of, he's one of the most standout for me. You know what I mean? He's 16 years old. He's short. His name is Pablo Gavi. Gavi has been very fantastic through this preseason, especially the last match. I see he's like Spider Man to me, and I'm going to explain why. He's been stringing those balls like it's webs. I'm like, there, 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 there. He's connected with everyone. So fantastic. He's like he's been here. This is that DNA. You know what I'm saying? That Barca DNA, and he's been really fantastic. You know what I'm saying? But Kuma is going to keep him longer in the first um, the first team, right? But he's definitely going to be returning to Barcelona B. But it's not that he's not good. He's really good. You know what I'm saying? He's really fantastic. And he's a standout for me. I don't know what your guys' favorites are, but he's a standout for me. And that's why I left him for last, because he's the best for last. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he's 16 years old. I mean, very fantastic connecting. He's holding that midfield down. I'm telling you. It's all very so sad, because I've seen some... People are saying like midfield, um, Gavi, Pedri, and De Young. And like everyone started to forget Pug. Don't forget Pug, man. Pug is Pug, you know what I'm saying? But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and let me know. Don't forget to leave a comment. I love to read you guys' comments as I always reply. Alright, guys, hope you enjoy it. Very serve your time. Stay tuned for more.